Assalamu alaikum to everybody. It is indeed a matter of immense pleasure for me to join you at the celebration of the Human Rights and Universal Children's Day and at the commemoration of the 30th anniversary of the United Nations Convention on the Rights of the Child. International days are occasions where we remind ourselves on that one day that for the rest of the 364 days of the year, things we have to remember. And on some issues, when I assumed the charge of the presidency, the first day which came across, the first day which came across was uh, uh, the day on breast cancer prevention. And when we talked about the fact that it was October 4 and we have to um, raise the issue of breast cancer throughout Pakistan, the biggest resistance on that, that you should not talk about it only on one day, was my wife, who kept on telling me it's not a matter of a day, it's a matter of the whole year. And I kept on telling her that we, I understand that it's a matter of the whole year, but on that one day we'll reach the, raise the hype and develop some acceleration in thoughts and ideas, and for the rest of the year that will work. But on her insistence, we worked the whole month on that, and therefore, of course, this is one singular day, but at the same time, I believe it's something which should be, which we remind ourselves anyway, or in bits and pieces, on areas and issues, we remind ourselves every day. So it's not a singular day, but just a, as a matter where we can get together and reinforce our beliefs and uh, our intentions uh, for doing something, that this day has to be commemorated. Now, there are three words which have been mentioned here. The dignity of the child, that it, the children must be protected, and there should be a situation in the entire country for, his, for every child to reach his full potential. That's where the modern state, the responsibility of the modern state comes in. The modern state allows people to earn their living, to become wealthy, but at, this, at the same time, it taxes the people who are wealthy and brings that money down into a system where everybody is treated equally, at least in education and with equal job opportunities. That's the primary responsibility of the state. And where this doesn't happen, that means the state has not been able to fulfill its responsibility and those responsible for the movement of the state in this direction, for example, the parliament, for example, the citizens of Pakistan, all of us are responsible for, for that to happen. What we see occasionally is cruelty, which pains me, which pains all of you. There are certain hardwired issues which the human body has. One of them, the most prominent of them is love, but there is also hate, there are phobias. There is a need to feed yourself and the biggest pleasure. And there's an emancipation by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in all these. Everybody has the same qualities. It is, developed. it is up to you to how to nurture them, to feed which one. And that is where love is universal. Love is seen and it's particularly talked about in our relationships um, between human beings. But the most important part is, and, and every color, every culture, every race, we can say about it, that when you see a child, you bubble with love towards it. It is uniform. And when you see a child in misery, it creates the biggest dent in your heart. And a lot of you will remember, for example, I forget the name of the Syrian child who died in the Mediterranean. That has, must have brought tears to millions and millions of eyes in the, uh, in, in throughout the world. Similarly, there was an image of Ethiopia where a child, a, a famished child was sitting and there was a vulture waiting for the child to die. That must have created a feeling of sadness too. I'm reminded of the APC, Army Public School massacre, and that was a very painful situation where everybody probably sitting here must have shed a tear. We looked at exploitation, a 
possibility of exploitation of the child in labor. And we have signed international treaties on that issue. And that is also related to the economy. As the economy pro prospers, our possibility of implementation of these uh, prevention of child labor will become more and more, will become easier and more and more possible. Then ex sexual exploitation of children. Again, a very painful thing. It is being, it is, it is hurtful, comes out in the media, the whole society then blames itself, blames the government for that is what is happening. But the biggest prevention of that, like Dr. Mazari mentioned, that we can have laws, and Pakistan, I, I, I also believe, is over-legislated, is the issue of implementation of laws. But these laws, be, other than laws, the sexual exploitation of children has to be has to have a primary burden on society itself, on the community itself, on the people learning, the parents learning how to handle this. The parents, while the children are going to school, while the children are there in the house, the parents should learn that the tricks of how to understand some signs and signals, give the child the confidence to be able to share. And let me tell you, when I, uh, uh, had a team of helpers who were experts looking at these issues and going into the community when my wife was working and then she had this group of five or six women who would go out into the community into the schools and asking parents to come in. The most well attended exchange used to happen on this issue where fathers and mothers would come and they would be told on how to educate their children and to be wary of that. So the community has to be strengthened also, not the laws. It's, it's when something happens, brings it to punishment, it's beyond, beyond, the, beyond the prevention factor. So we need to prevent that, change the society on, the, on those issues. So where we have to look at issues, and I'll come back to our own ethos, I think, which inspires us on to looking at in, 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 on all these issues. But when you talk about shelters, I also believe very strongly that every house should be a shelter. Every community should be responsible to have some kind of a shelter it, the, the, in the joint family system or traditionally in villages and, uh, uh, and cities, houses were shelters for, for the people and the, or the children who are going through some misery. 